I think you are going to want to subscribe. We are all going to miss cheddar garlic biscuits. However, they can be made at home. And even better, I have a half batch recipe for you. In other words, just small bowls, a cup of flour, and um, two small bowls is all you need. And these basic ingredients, some flour, a tiny bit of sugar, your uh, grated, already grated cheddar cheese, and a little buttermilk, a little butter, um, the garlic. And what I want to say about, um, so I, what I did a little differently is I took the minced garlic and I melted the butter first. I put this in the uh, directions for you below. And I put them in there first so that the garlic granules could kind of uh, get all moist in the butter. And the other thing I wanted to say is that when you have these dried herbs like parsley, oregano, they do not last forever. So anywhere after three months, six months, you can start to update those and to make it affordable, I always go to the bulk se section, if possible, at the spice section in the grocery store and buy little bags and save my jar and replenish it that way. So the date on the bottom with a uh, black marker tells me uh, how, how long I've had those. Um, and this is what you end up with. And I also wanted to show you that, um, so just part of the recipe made those six. I mean, I didn't make big, huge um, biscuits. I used a smaller biscuit cutter. You can make them as big as you want. But I wanted to show you that you don't over mix biscuits. They just take a few minutes. You don't need them. You just very lightly, and they didn't even need flour on the uh, rolling mat. I just rolled them out and put them in the oven. So I wanted to show you that, and these will go in the oven for the next baking. I could have done them all at one time, but I was saving these for you. So please subscribe. This is Get Real in the Kitchen with Deanna. One take, live from Denver. See you next time.